Keeping your children safe and warm through the winter is a priority for parents across Kelloland. But as I recently witnessed firsthand while distributing coats for Keep Kelloland Warm, for some parents, the ability to provide a safe, warm covering for their baby is a real struggle. Which is what inspired Ashley and a group of her friends to start making car seat ponchos to distribute to parents of babies and toddlers who need them. It's an easy, fun project that you can even do with your kids. It's so easy that I'm going to teach Brittany and you how to make one right now. You can even make it a fun project to do with your kids to donate to the Keep Kelloland Warm effort. Yeah, this what is a great really idea. Fun. And it's really easy. It doesn't take a lot. For supplies, all you're going to need is two pieces of fleece that is one yard each. So two one yard pieces. And you want to make sure you don't get the kind that like flakes all over, just your regular fleece. Okay. And so then you're ready to go. Scissors, hood, you're good. We're going to get right to this, and when you said you need two pieces of fleece, one, you liked this pattern, and then you said just yeah, get a pattern so that we'll can match with it. Yeah, just like coordinate with, with this. Yeah. And so what you're going to start with is fold your piece in half and then in half again. And then so right here, up here is my top fold. That's my corner. And that's going to be the center of the circle. Okay. And I've fashioned a compass out of just tape, you could use tape or string, and a marker Kay. or a pen. So I'm gonna hold the edge of the compass so up this here at the corner. You pull it, probably hold it down a rope. Yeah, right. hold it like a normal pen probably. So that you don't, yeah. And then just pull it tight and use it to make your arc. Here it goes. Yeah, see how easy that is? And then Very since easy. this is in fours now, when we cut it and unfold, it'll be a perfect circle. Right. And then the other part of the pattern is just to have a hood. And so I just took one of my child's coats that has a hood, and then in this extra fabric you have here, lay this down, and then you draw just around okay. the hood, and I'd leave about a half inch on each side, and that's for a seam allowance. And it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just kind of gives you the basic size. Yeah, perfect. Right about there. Yes. So you're going to cut this out, just cut along the circle, cut along the hood in both pieces, and you're also just going to cut right out of the center a little circle to make the neck hole, okay. and then you're going to be ready to put it together. So for this hood, when you cut this out, you would cut this straight Yeah, too. just cut straight across okay. it, like it's going to attach to the jacket later. Okay. So, so pretend we just cut all this out. Yeah. And we've got two pieces that I already have here. So you see it comes into a nice circle and there's a hole in the middle. And so this is going to be one where it's two different colors there. So really you're going to be doing this process on both of your pieces of yes, fabric. Yes, on both of your pieces okay. of fabric. And then you take your two hood pieces and this part, we're not going to show the whole thing, but we can put a little extra on line later for you. You just take the two pieces, you can pin it together. You're going to sew around the top and the side of both pieces. Okay. And then you just take them right sides facing each other and sew around the top and you'll have a hood. Okay. Now that's a little bit, if you're not a sewer, that's probably the one tricky part. You could choose to make this without a hood. That would be right. fine. But this is an easy way or get a hood off of an item of clothing that you're not using anymore and kind of repurpose it. So you pin that yep. to And the then hood. Once, you, once you get the hood done, we're just going to pin it right into the center of this. So these are right sides together and we would just pin our hood into the middle of this and pin this down and sew this last piece up. Okay. And I'll show you what that will look like. So we can move this out. Okay, so next step. So this is after you had it sewn in. Yeah, and so you can kind of see here, this is what the hood looks like when it's done. And you can put it reverse or the same. And then I've just put it in between these two pieces and sewn all the way around. And you would be able to see that on the inside really well here. I've just sewn all the way around. Right. And then I flip it so that it's the right sides out again and we're ready to finish it. And this is the part that is really fun to do with a group of kids because it's easy and fun for them. This is kind of like your basic tie blanket, right? Mm -hmm. Have you done one of those before? Yeah, I have. Yeah. I used to make them all the time when I was younger. So just lay it out flat on the floor somewhere where you've got these two pieces and then just start making cuts up about, you know, two inches from the bottom. Like right there? Yeah. And then just keep going all the yeah, way around. Yeah, you just keep going all the way around. And then once I have all these done and mm -hmm. you start making your knots. Yes, and so once you go all the way around, all you're gonna do, and I think we can just show it probably on what we have here, is you're gonna take two pieces and tie it once and then tie it 
twice. It might and just you're add go, a little extra. It does. Right. You wouldn't even have little. to do it, but it adds you extra. Right. And that is the good thing about fleece. Fleece does not fray, right. so you don't have to have a finished edge. So yeah. if you want to tie it, if you want to just tie the top, you can just tie the top. You don't have to put a hood in. We will show the sewing part. It's a, that's the only part that's at all complicated, but you could just do this with your kids. And then when you're done, oh my gosh, these, these are adorable. Ponchos. And I got a tip from, I, we did this yesterday with a bunch of my friends, and it is so fun to do. And my favorite part is that she, I got this tip, you just pull this when you're done. Pull it. Oh, okay. And that'll help it get flat and even. We're so here we are. Video, yeah. Yeah. We're sewing. This, we did this yesterday. I had some of my girlfriends and their kids. I'm sewing with Hadley there. She's learning how to sew. And everyone was able to kind of pitch in. The kids are learning to use the compass kind of method. And kind of everybody found yeah. a place. The older kids were cutting and doing the original part. And some of the younger kids were just tying. And it's a fun way to, to do a lot of really great things. And make these really cute blankets. And your point too, when you, we were talking about this and mm -hmm. you told me that you were going to do this, I thought that was interesting because Keep Cal Land Warm is, you know, collecting hats, yes. gloves, coats, mm -hmm. but then you were thinking, well, kids aren't supposed to wear coats. Right, and that's something that not everybody knows. That's changed. Even from the time when I had my oldest daughter, who's 11 today, to my youngest, that changed. Right. And now it's really considered to be not safe to have a coat between your child and that belt. And that's where these ponchos come in because you put so this over your child cute. and they've got something warm to walk in and out of a store or in and out of their school with or house, but they have the ability to buckle underneath it. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. So we'll have this information out on our website too if you want to make them for your own kids that's great if you want to make them to donate you can drop them off at any of the Kelloland, keep Kelloland warm sites i love it this will be so fun well thank you so much ashley and thank you for doing this and giving back to our community thank what a you. great thing we're gonna make some more of them later too yes, you. we are